Hi everyone, thank you for tuning into the video. In this video, I go back to November 2022. I know that was a while ago at this point, but hey, better late than never. With videos that we were doing for Christmas time and everything around the holidays, uh, this just kind of got put on the back burner. And then with the events of 2023 so far and just changes that happened that were out of my control and everything, I even wondered if I wanted to put this video up as well as the KMFDM one and the next Catatonia concert video that you'll see after this one. Um, but, you know, no matter what happens in life, you know, whatever brings you down or can challenge you or especially your mental health or whatever, one thing that always picks me back up and pulls me back in has been music. Concerts are a big, big thing too. And fortunately, there are a lot of concerts coming up here in the spring, especially now that it's March, 2023. And I mean, April is just loaded, even though I have to go to Baltimore for a lot of them if I want to go to all these shows, if I can afford to go. But anyway, my point is back in November, Catatonia, which is one of my favorite bands from Sweden, like they're one of my favorite bands, but they, among others from Sweden, are one of my favorites besides Dark Tranquility. You guys all know, if you know me well enough, you know how much I love Dark Tranquility and how I used one of their songs for my intro for the longest time. And as a matter of fact, the reason why I had to change it up is because even though Dark Tranquility said that they love that I used Force of Hand as my intro song, YouTube and Google has decided to start doing copyright crap with it, so I had to put a stop to it, because no matter how hard I tried to tweak it or fix it, it just wasn't working. So I figured it was more trouble than it's worth, and we need something new anyway, especially since things changed. But anyway, everything is okay. I'm hanging in there, and I'm excited to show you guys this concert from Thunderbird Cafe or Thunderbird Hall or whatever here in Lawrenceville, which is right across the river here from Millville. And it's a great venue. I was mind blown by the place. I was never there before until this concert and it was just an excellent time. The only opening act for the evening was Cellar Darling from Switzerland and they were incredible. It, absolutely incredible. And unfortunately, uh, they, you know, fortunately, unfortunately, uh, they got to play a longer set list, and that was because the Ocean Collective, who was supposed to play after them, had to cancel that night as they got stuck at the Canadian border, as their show the previous night was, I think, in Toronto or something. But anyway, it allowed Sellers Darling to play a longer set list, and they even played a song that they've only played once before, and it was their first time playing it in the United States. So that was exciting to be able to be a part of that, and for me to record it and share it with you guys. So enjoy that, and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Oh, and by the way, I made sure to record one of my favorite songs uh, from Catatonia, which is July, which, you know, I don't know about you, or if you know anything about Catatonia, you know July has one of the best breakdowns in all of metal. Simple, yet heavy as hell. So anyway, stay tuned for that, and like I said, I'll see you at the end of the video.
Thank you so much. Wow. Wow, that's, a, that's an incredible reaction to a very weird song. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is, this is incredible. We, we didn't really get that kind of feedback when we played it back home. It, it was kind of sad because it's been such a long you know, break from all of this really shitty time. And um, the first time we actually played this song in Switzerland was our first and probably last corporate show. Um, I don't know why they <laughs> invited us, but it was like a, a party for like all of the elementary school teachers of our hometown. <laughs> and so when we played dance, it was just kind of like, okay. <laughs> so this it really means a lot to us. It's, it's really nice that. It's been a while. Too long. It's been a pandemic and all that. <laughs> but uh, now we're doing this together again. Woo! Yes. 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 All right, so we're going to continue with another song of the Night is the New Day record. Yeah! This one we call Forsaker. Yeah!
Did you also enjoy uh, Center of Dollar? Yeah. A ton of times. Yeah. Have a great time. I hope you have a longer set for you tonight. Because uh, the ocean's absence. That's great. Woo! Yes. All right, we're going to continue with a call, uh, song called Soil Song. Yeah. Yes!
everybody. How about that? What a hell of a show that was. I mean, absolutely incredible. Very, very, very talented bands were on that bill. And, you know, while it was sad that the Ocean Collective couldn't play the Pittsburgh date, I was blessed enough to be able to be in Texas at the time they were playing the uh, Amplified Live venue in Dallas. So naturally, we all went to that show, and there were a bunch of us that went to that one. My first ever concert in Texas and at Dallas and at an amazing venue, even though uh, the people running it were something else. And I'll explain that in the next video, the confusion that they had amongst each other. But anyway, hey, Leah, what did you think about that Catatonia show? No comment, eh? Cats are metal, but I think she's all tuckered out. She had a busy day of doing nothing all day. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for the Dallas version of the show, where we actually were blessed with two other bands that played as well. Uh, Ocean Collective played, and we had Oceans of Slumber, and we also had Sewin, which... My God, I've been wanting to see Sewin for a long, long time, and wow... They were amazing, and we'll just stay tuned for that. I won't uh, spoil that one. That was a great concert, my first concert in Texas. But anyway, Catatonia here at Thunderbird Cafe in Pittsburgh. What a hell of a time that was. Uh, being up in the front row like I normally am for concerts because it pays to get there super early like I do. If I really want to be able to go to a show and enjoy it to the fullest potential, I go hours in advance to be first in line or close to first in line so I can be in the front row. Especially for Dark Tranquility. I will, you'll never see me not in the front row. Anyway, uh, Catatonia, they put on a heck of a show. They just released a new album as well back in December or early January, and it was incredible as well. Um, if you like Catatonia, definitely go out and get that album. I'm not being sponsored by them. I just love this band. So anyway, and you know, with the type of music that they write, especially off the Dead End Kings album, you know, their music is just bittersweet medicine. You know, with my mental health being the way it is with the events of 2023 uh, taking place that were out of my control, you know, things are different now. And if you didn't know, you know, obviously I'm by myself now, I'm hanging in there. I got good people around me though, and I'm still going out and doing videos because it's what I love to do. Yes, I'm doing more trained videos than I am abandoned and retail related videos, but I'm just doing what I enjoy for my mental health. Oh, and by the way, State Park videos for Pennsylvania will be resuming soon. I wanted to do some more here in the winter with the snow, but we didn't get any snow so far. Barely any at all. But never say never. Remember the blizzard of 93 in March. So anything's possible. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe to, for more content. And let me know what you think about my concert videos. If you want me to do more, I'll be happy to do it because there are a lot of shows lined up so far for 2023. And there's actually one in Cleveland that I plan on going to to see in April. I think it's April 9th. It's on a Sunday. Insomnium, another amazing band that I love so much. I love that style of metal. Amazing group of guys. I know the guitarist Marcus. They're just incredible people. You'll see me there in Cleveland for that one. So anyway, stay tuned for that too. But until then, take care. Stay awesome, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.